everybody that I play with, every team I'm on, they're like, man, why you choose straws? Like, uh -huh. stuff like that. I used to have a pile of straws. Uh -huh. You know, uh, got a handful on me right now. <laughs> Keep straws. It's not that weird. I mean, you get used to it and, you know, it's an everyday routine, everyday thing, so. You don't worry about him, like, choking on a straw or something? If you ain't choked by now, you ain't gonna choke, I guess. Okay. Did you want to try one? I got a bunch of them. If you want to try to chew one or something. Yeah. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> You're okay. I just chew gum. Before every game, I start at the you know, nearest Burger King, McDonald's, uh -huh. grab straws, uh -huh. grab a handful of straws, and uh -huh. come to the game and start chewing and start working out. I used to chew straws when I was a kid, never played ball with them. You used to chew straws when you were a kid? I mean, after I was done drinking a soda, yeah. Uh -huh. But I could never play with them. You have a preference, like what brand? Uh, usually McDonald's or Burger King. Those are the best ones? Yeah. What makes them the best? They're pretty thick. You can tell the difference between McDonald's and Subway and any other brand, because McDonald's and Subway have the biggest and thickest straws. So he knows them. He's been doing it for a long time. He's a professional. This is a McDonald's straw. Yeah, that's what we brought that specifically for you. How could you tell that was McDonald's? I know McDonald's straws. <laughs> Trust me, I've been in this game a long time. It's not good for you two on straws. How do you know when one's done? Uh, start getting a little stringy. <laughs> yeah, gotta spit it out. I got chew on the, the dental sticks. You chew on straws. Little dental sticks. I, I chew in practice before the game. To floss? No, just to chew on it. What kind of gum? Trident. Trident? Yep. Original? Nah. Tropical twist. <laughs> you chew two floss and karachi and straws. Yeah. yeah. Let me see this. I'm sure like that in the game. Isn't it like, it's like dangerous though? Like, isn't I it like. I you'd be worried about swallowing it. But no, like just to chew on it. It's like chemicals and stuff. In, it's plastic. Yeah. It's, you don't think it's good for you? That's oh, not no, good for you at all. Not You're not worried about it going through your lip or something? Uh-uh. Why not? I'm talented. <laughs> it's a habit. I do it at home. My daughter even does it sometimes. Oh, you know, really? now she see me with a straw. She'll be like, Dad, where a straw at? No, she's pretty good with it. She doesn't run with them in her mouth, so it's okay. I mean, how many does he go through in like a typical game, you know? A typical game, probably like about five, five or six. First half, I can go through at least six. In the first half? Yeah, easy. So 12 a game. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and half time, during half time, you chew them? Half time, switch up, chew at least two. And how many does he go through in like a typical day at home? Well, normally he sends me into McDonald's and I like grab as much as I can and I hurry for supper in the back. So as many as I can get from McDonald's that day is what he normally... At least a good maybe 60. Oh, this is like, uh, hold on, I'll say anything, like a 7-Eleven big Slurpee thing or something. I don't do these. I don't do 7-Eleven straws or anything. No. McDonald's, Burger King, that's it. How often do you go to McDonald's? Um, I usually try to go maybe once a day, and then if he goes on his own, he gets some himself. So whenever you go so, to the restaurant, you check it out just to see? Yeah. What kind of straw they have? Uh, a Cheesecake Factory got the black straws. They're kind of thick, so that's, that's good quality straw. That works? Yeah. Yep, this is only the kind of stuff you can get here on Washington Post Live and Vogue TV and, of course, on the D.C. Sports Vogue Get the URL. You can see it right there highlighted. Just go there on WashingtonPost.com and, well, check out all the weird stuff that, <laughs> that Stan, Dan Steinberg's delving into on a daily basis.